This is actually pretty serious. All right, hey everybody, Sundays here. Welcome back to another video of the Minecraft Hunger Games. This is going to be, oh, okay, so. I got nothing. Um, in this video, I'm not gonna be really trying too hard. I mean, like, I'll obviously try not to die, but you know, if I if I die, I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm going to get. I'm going to tell you guys of. I almost died essentially. Okay. So yeah, this is actually pretty serious. So basically, um, I was having dinner one night uh, with my family. And my mom brought out this bread that we had had before. Um, and you know, it was a good bread and whatever. And I was eating it with uh, some of the food. And um, we had gotten this bread before. So I don't know. And I had, I'm pretty sure I had eaten it before. So I don't know if like something changed. Um, but essentially, I guess when we bought it again it it had something added to it and um i'm like kind of severely allergic to uh sesame seeds um so essentially i can't really eat any asian food uh because i'm allergic to sesame seeds so it's kind of annoying because i really like asian food um but it turns out that there was sesame flour in the bread um so that proved to be a big problem and you know i, I put the bread in my mouth and i was like and I, I i ate some you know with the food and then i was like my mouth feels weird um and i told my i, I asked my mom like what's in this bread and she was just like it's, it's just normal bread like just just eat the bread <laughs> and i'm like okay um <laughs> um so neither of us uh knew that there was sesame in this bread because like usually i'm very careful with uh when i eat things you know to make sure i'm like not allergic to it because you know it, how hard is it to check if 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 it has if to check the ingredients you know um so i always do but because it was uh in our house and because it was food that i had had before um we kind of just assumed it would be safe and i guess that was not the right thing to do um so yeah uh it was it was a rough night for me because i also was having like um i also i got like really sick basically i mean my my mouth and throat were kind of messed up from the sesame and then i was also having some like stomach problems that night and so i don't know if that was just like two awful things happening conveniently at the same time or um if uh if the stomach problems were actually caused by the sesame so i'm not really sure um so yeah i like i immediately took some medicine um i do have epi i do have an epipen because i uh i'm allergic uh to a few nuts um but I don't, I don't think the EpiPen would have worked on a sesame allergy anyways, so I didn't, I didn't use it. Um, so we tried to take the most like calm approach to it. Um, so, uh, you know, we we just went within. We hope for the best. <laughs> and so fortunately, I am here today to tell the story. So um, I did not die, which is good, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna lose because I'm not really geared, but, um, uh, that's okay. Yeah, that was basically, that was basically that. Um, it was scary, um, and you know how, like, when, when something happens, if you're anxious about it, like, you, like, start having anxiety about it, it just makes it worse, at least to you, because in your mind you're exaggerating it and all of that. Um, so that was happening to, you know, I got really anxious about and stuff as, as anyone would really like, imagine you start having a freaking allergic reaction. Why are these people coming after me? No, please. But yeah, basically it was kind of just a scary experience, but I am okay. Ah, yes. So I will die.
Yeah, whatever. He actually got down to five and a half hearts, so not not bad for me, given my gear and my not caring too too much. Um, but anyways, that is the story of how I almost died. You know, it wasn't what would it have been a cool death? Not really, but uh, you know, it was scary. So yeah, not clickbait actually. I mean, that it could have ended up really badly. Probably had I, if I had. Uh, if I had eaten more more of that bread, then it probably would have been a lot worse because, um, you know, when I had got my allergy test like a few years ago, that was my most recent one, uh, you know, they do the little pricks on your arms and then they like put the oil or whatever in it and then you wait 20 minutes and it gets really itchy, right? The bump that I got for, for sesame was like freaking huge. So to think I ate some bread and then that's that bump is happening in, inside my body. So, you yeah, know, it's... Uh, wasn't great, but thankfully I'm here. I'm okay. It was a really rough night, but eventually at like 2 a.m. or something, I finally fell asleep and I was good in the morning. So I'm glad I'm alive, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Um, if any of you have some like weird allergies, like I'm like slightly allergic to kiwis. It's really weird. So if any of you guys have, if any of you have any allergy stories or any weird allergies or really anything, uh, be sure to comment down below. Please be sure to leave a like on this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.